Welcome to the World Pulse Update. Bringing you the latest news from around the world, beneath the tranquil surface of Eastern California, a geological giant stirs, the Long Valley Caldera. This vast, oval-shaped depression, stretching over 30 kilometers, is the scar of a supervolcano's ancient fury. Today, scientists are detecting a significant buildup of magma deep below, raising urgent questions. The caldera, home to mammoth lakes and nestled beside the Sierra Nevada, is more than a scenic valley. It's one of America's highest threat volcanoes. The USGS's classification is no exaggeration. It reflects a history of massive eruptions and ongoing subterranean activity. The magma chamber beneath Long Valley is not a relic. It's alive, part of Earth's dynamic plumbing. Recent scientific warnings are based on decades of meticulous observation. When magma accumulates in the shallow crust, pressure builds, increasing the risk of volcanic activity. Communities like Mammoth Lake sit directly atop this restless system, making any change in behavior a matter of immediate concern. The evidence compels us to look closer, to use every scientific tool to interpret the Earth's signals. The story of Long Valley is a chapter in the ongoing saga of our ever-changing planet. Even small changes in this system can have major consequences for those living nearby. The caldera's restlessness is a reminder that the forces shaping our world are still at work. Understanding these processes isn't just for scientists, it's vital for everyone in the region. The sleeping giant beneath Eastern California is stirring, and we must pay attention to us. What is Long Valley trying to tell us? And are we ready to listen? To understand Long Valley's present, we must revisit its explosive past. Nearly 767,000 years ago, a supervolcano here unleashed one of Earth's largest eruptions. The blast ejected enough ash and pumice to bury Los Angeles under 150 meters, darkening skies across the continent. The eruption emptied a vast magma chamber causing the ground to collapse and form the caldera we see today. Pyroclastic flows incinerated everything nearby, reshaping the landscape forever. Ash from the event, known as the Bishop Tuff, reached as far as Nebraska and Kansas. But the story didn't end there. The volcanic system began to recharge. Over millennia, smaller eruptions formed features like the Mono Inyo craters and the resurgent dome, a bulge in the caldera's center. This dome is a direct result of new magma pushing upward, swelling the ground. Long Valley's history is one of cycles, eruption, collapse, recharge. The processes we observe today are part of this ancient rhythm. The caldera's ability to refill its magma chamber is well documented. The key question now, are we witnessing the start of a new phase or just another deep breath from the sleeping giant? The past warns us, this system is capable of extraordinary power. Science must determine where we stand in this ongoing cycle. How do we know what's happening miles beneath our feet? We listen, using seismology. As magma moves, it fractures rock creating swarms of tiny earthquakes. Seismometers record these tremors, mapping the hidden pathways of magma. In Long Valley, decades of persistent seismic swarms have signaled unrest. These swarms often align with the depths of the underlying magma reservoir. Seismic tomography, like a CT scan for the Earth, reveals slow zones, evidence of molten rock. Recent data confirm a large, partially molten body beneath the resurgent dome. Patterns of earthquakes and changes in seismic wave speeds show new magma is being injected from below. This is not a static system, it's dynamic, evolving and being fed from the mantle. The Earth's subtle tremors are a warning we can't afford to ignore. Another sign of volcanic unrest is ground movement, uplift caused by accumulating magma. In Long Valley, the resurgent dome has risen nearly a meter since the 1970s, tracked with millimeter precision. This swelling often coincides with earthquake swarms, painting a clear picture of magma intrusion. But it's not just the ground that signals danger. Gases escaping from the Earth are equally telling. As magma rises, it releases carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, which can seep through faults to the surface. In the 1990s, high CO2 emissions killed large swaths of trees on Mammoth Mountain, a stark reminder of hidden hazards. Monitoring gas emissions provides crucial insight into the state of the magma below. Increases in volcanic gases can warn of impending eruptions. The invisible release of gas is a deadly risk, making it a key focus of ongoing monitoring. Ground uplift and gas emissions together offer a window into the caldera's restless heart. These signals demand our constant attention. 
Technology in orbit has revolutionized volcano monitoring. Satellites like those using INSAR can detect ground movement across the entire caldera, down to the millimeter. These maps confirm the swelling centered on the resurgent dome, matching ground-based measurements. Satellites also spot thermal anomalies, hot spots that may indicate magma rising closer to the surface. Instruments can even detect volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide from space, providing a broader context for ground data. This multi-layered surveillance system is like a team of doctors monitoring vital signs. When ground uplift, gas emissions, and thermal changes all align, confidence in the findings grows. For Long Valley, satellite data has been crucial in confirming the magma system's activity and pressure. The view from space gives scientists a powerful tool to track the caldera's every move. The sleeping giant is under constant watch from above. Long Valley's story is written in data, and the latest chapters are concerning. A 2024 seismic imaging study revealed a vast, partially molten magma chamber, over 1,000 cubic kilometers, classifying it as a supervolcano. More troubling, the chamber is growing, with new magma accumulating at an accelerated rate. Ground uplift, once slowed, has picked up again, centered on the resurgent dome. The most mobile, eruptable magma is now at shallower depths, 5 to 10 kilometers below the surface. This is the zone most likely to produce an eruption. Seismic swarms and uplift are focused directly above this critical area. The scientific consensus, Long Valley is in a more active phase, though an eruption is not imminent. The rate of magma accumulation warrants increased vigilance and updated hazard assessments. The conversation has shifted from long-term awareness to immediate concern. The sleeping giant is stirring more noticeably than it has in decades. Scientists are watching with heightened attention. What could happen if Long Valley erupts? The possibilities range from minor to catastrophic. A repeat of the ancient super eruption is unlikely now, but even smaller eruptions could be devastating. Moderate eruptions might create new cones or craters, sending ash high into the atmosphere and threatening aviation and communities downwind. Pyroclastic flows and thick ash could destroy everything nearby. Even without magma reaching the surface, steam-driven explosions and gas releases pose real dangers. High CO2 emissions have already proven deadly on Mammoth Mountain. Ongoing seismic activity could trigger damaging earthquakes, threatening Mammoth Lakes and critical infrastructure. The region's main highway, US 395, runs through the caldera. An eruption would disrupt the entire eastern Sierra. Understanding these risks is essential for effective emergency planning. Awareness and preparation are our best defenses. Long Valley is one of the world's most closely watched volcanoes. The USGS and California Volcano Observatory operate a sophisticated network of seismometers, GPS stations, and gas sensors, data streams in 24-7, analyzed for any sign of escalation. A color-coded alert system keeps the public and emergency managers informed. As of now, Long Valley is at advisory, elevated unrest, but no imminent eruption. Emergency plans are in place, outlining communication, evacuation, and safety procedures. Public education is key. Residents and visitors are taught what to do if the volcano awakens. The advice, stay aware, not alarmed. Vigilance, not panic. Monitoring systems are designed to provide as much warning as possible. The public's role is to stay informed and have a basic emergency plan. Science and preparedness together offer our best chance to coexist safely with this powerful volcano. The Long Valley Caldera reminds us of our place on a restless planet. The forces that built this landscape are still at work beneath our feet. Magma accumulation, ground swelling, and seismic whispers are signs of a living Earth, not a broken one. Science has given us the tools to detect and understand these signals with unprecedented clarity. The magma reservoir beneath Long Valley is active, refilling, and causing the ground to rise. While a super eruption is unlikely, the risk of smaller dangerous events is real. Scientists and their instruments are our guardians, tracking every change. We cannot control these forces, but we are not helpless. Through knowledge and preparation, we can anticipate and respond intelligently. The monitoring network and emergency plans at Long Valley are models for living with natural hazards. As we learn more about our dynamic planet, the question remains, how will we respond to the warnings it gives us? The sleeping giant story is still being written, and we are all part of it.